Hello, I'm going to try something new today, thanks to the magic of text to music AI. Now, usually I like to either write new songs, play along to a backing track, or play along to a favorite tune, or maybe YouTube a random backing track um, in an unusual key or mode. But today I'm going to check out an AI music generator that has an option to create loops. And I'm going to use the mode decoder to help me puzzle out the key or mode that the AI has created. I'm going to see how quickly I can find the key or mode with the mode decoder and then play along to it. So I'm using this free online AI music generator called MuBert. Um, and this has a handy loop function. And of course, the link is in the description. It's supposed to generate music that fits the text prompt that you type in. So far, it's been a little bit wider the mark for me. However, it does generate interesting and random loops uh, that make for a great exercise. And I'm going to try it three times so that we can compare the results. Okay, so here we are at the text to music website. Um, you do need to put your email address in, which I've done just above there. So apart from that, all you need to do is add some sort of prompt for it. So I'm just going to start off with one called Happy Pop, just a generic one to see what we get. I'm going to click Generate Loop because I want that to continue um, to be going um, while I play. And then all you do is click Submit. And now we wait until the progress bar has got to the end and hopefully at the end of that we'll have a nice piece of original generic music that we can then take into GarageBand and um, see what key or mode it's in and see if we can play along to it. Right, let's have a listen. See what this one sounds like. Melodic rock, see what we get with that. There we go. so far. Let's see what we've got this time. There we go. That's a challenging one. Okay. Let's take those over into GarageBand and see Okay, here I am with GarageBand on the Mac and let's get to it. I've uploaded, uploaded, I've imported um, one of those tracks into GarageBand as the top track and I've just plugged in my guitar to the bottom track. So the first thing I need to do 
is I need to find out which key, which which is the sort of um, bass note for the uh, the song that, that I've done. So I'm going to do that by just going up and down the neck to see which is the note that sounds like it's the it's it's the home note. So your your ear will kind of get used to doing this, and hopefully you'll be able to hear it along with me. So let's just. Um, let's just do that. Okay. So I think that's it. Which is an F sharp. Sounds like it's the that's the one F sharp. So we know it's in F sharp, but is it in F sharp, a major F sharp mode, or a minor F sharp? So let's first try a major chord. And that sounds not like it's part of the the, the, the key. It just sounds wrong. So let's try. So I don't think it's that, so it must be a minor chord. Yeah, that sounds like it. So, so looking at the mode decoder, what else have we got? We've got B minor. Let's try that one. That sounds like three. We've got, we've got C sharp minor, which is here. Okay, so it looks like it's Aeolian. Just quickly check the other two uh, modes that are in minor, so that could be F sharp and um, Dorian, so let's put F sharp in that window. And then we've got an A flat is the next minor chord, so that's that. E flat minor. Definitely doesn't sound like part of the right. Okay, let's try F sharp in the fridging window. Okay. This one's got an E minor. It's close. Try another chord. Well, yeah, that doesn't quite sound like A does. So, yes, I think we're right. It's, it's F sharp Aeolian. Okay, so now we know that. Set in F sharp Aeolian. Let's look at those locations and see if we can solo along to that. So the first location is location one, F sharp, and that's fret two, it tells us. So playing the minor pentatonic notes. Then location two, which is B, which is fret seven, which is here. And then on to C sharp, I'm 
that's on fret 9. So there's our three locations and of course further up the second fret up is also the second fret up on 14th so okay I know my locations I'm going to just play and I'm going to add in the grey notes And there we are. I hope that added to your guitar playing possibilities. Will we see more of AI backing in the future? I think we probably will. In the next two videos I'll do the same puzzle solve with two more of those AI generated tracks. Okay, see you next time.